arenas like this one, are they intimidating to a visiting club? No question. Um, we were talking, there's not that many people, uh, you know, maybe sitting around, but just one person talking across the ice, and it echoes through this building. So obviously that affects the team's playing, especially a young hockey team like New Jersey. They're going to come in here. Chicago is an exceptional hockey team. They had the second best home record in the league last year. They haven't lost at home yet this year, so it's tough to come into this building and play. Murray Bannerman. Three wins, one loss in the season. Fourth year with the Blackhawks, 26 years old. Came from Vancouver, 1977. Playing in goal for tonight for the New Jersey Devils. Ronnie Lowe, 33 years old. Experienced goaltender, played in many teams. Toronto, Washington, Detroit, Quebec. And he came over from Edmonton. Tenth year in the league. He's out to Verbeek, who moves on Ben Wilson and then rockets one that is deflected away by Bannerman. Preston going behind. Shoved off by McMillan, but now ahead comes Keith Brown with his pass ahead to Troy Murray. Banks one in near Ron Lowe, and Preston turned around back in a score by Frazier. <laughs> Kurt Frazier at 4.44, and the Hawks score first. Well, in my mind, that play right there is a set play. Notice how Preston dumps it off the boards, and it comes right out. Frazier's going to come in and pick up the pass off the boards and put a backhander by Ronnie Lowe between his legs. Let's get a look at what Ronnie Lowe was looking at. You saw the puck come out. Now, the first man is covered, but the rebound comes to Frazier, and he just puts a backhander in right between Ronnie Lowe's leg. But that looks like a play that they've got set up. They threw the puck right off the boards in order for it to come out. Here's McLean feeding the point, and Kitchen letting a shot go, and that one wide, and Verbeek couldn't stop it by the empty net as Bannerman was down. Time that Murray Bannerman's come out of the net. New Jersey's had an opportunity to make a play. Here's Cameron a shot, and Bannerman came out to just show that lightning-like glove. Well, so far, the save of the period by Murray Bannerman, and he made a great glove save right there. Let's get another look at the angle. Nice pass from Bro right by Broughton. Watch this. Boy, what a pretty glove save off Dave Cameron. Notice how far out of the net he is. I think it's wise to note, maybe I'm sure something Billy McMillan's telling the players, maybe fake that shot when you're coming in off the angle, pull him out of the net and just skate around him. McMillan keeps again. It is McLean and Verbeek that are moving to the front. Now Verbeek out for that pass to Brumwell, a drive, score! Murray Brumwell, and perhaps it was deflected by Phil Russell. Somebody tipped it in front of the net. Now, I'm not sure if it was Russell or if it was one of the Chicago defensemen, but nevertheless, the drive by Murray Brumwell, the offensive defenseman we talked about. Watch it right off the pass. I got to believe it's Russell. Again, look how far out Murray Bannerman is. And Murray Brumwell drives the puck, tipped in by Phil Russell, New Jersey. Ties the game at one, and they've still got a minute and three left on that other power play. Kid line opposite uh, the combination that includes Jerem Chuck and Sutter as Ben Wilson moves right in. He scores! this one again second goal as a Chicago Blackhawk to the big defenseman Ben Wilson who just rifles one and there you saw the moving screen that was set up and Ron Lowe very upset at the scoring of that goal as the Devils find themselves behind again by a count of two to one even strength goal with 350 to go here's a chance for Broughton uh, pardon me for Larmer but that poke from him and so Sorella will go back to gather it in Mike Ruzioni has gone downstairs to conduct an interview as we see Yaramchuk staring at Floyd and Ben Wilson right there as well. And now the sticks come up. Lysiak and Sorello waiting into him. Ben Wilson trying to get in between. And our first tip of the night. In those occasional magazine polls that are taken every so often when they ask who is the best at certain things Ben Wilson always ranks among the top three when it comes to pugilism and he explains that he was taught how to fight at a very early age by his father in Toronto who was a high school football coach and felt that all of his boys should learn how to defend themselves young Yaramchuk as well as Lysiak 
And Wilson and Yaramchuk remain out, and we're well, going to have one right at center ice under the big scoreboard. Yaramchuk down, and on top of him, I believe, is Pat Verbeek. To my recollection, Verbeek was at the bench at the time of the initial one. He is on top, Yaramchuk underneath, and the linesman Ron Finn and Dan Shakti. 58 seconds left on the power play to Chicago, and two minutes remaining in this first period. Blackhawks ahead 2-1. Here is Savard. Just controlling and handing over to Wilson. In front to Larmer, he scores! Steve Larmer. You get the look at the pretty passing play. Right out in front, and Larmer just got it inside the left post. One more time we'll see it, this becoming the seventh goal in seven games for Larmer. And his point total now mushrooms to nine. Might have just glanced off Ron Lowe as we take a look at that the second time. All right, Devils down 3-1. Now, those players are coming up 19 steps. And if you want to hear interesting stories, just ask anyone involved in hockey who has played in Chicago if they know of anyone who has fallen down those steps because everyone has seen or heard of one player. And when you ask individuals, each man's answer is a different name. So there have been a lot of casualties falling down those steps. Broughton behind, but right back into the pile up it goes once more. A lot of close battling for the puck here in the early stages of the second period as a pass misses for Sear. Ron Lowe will watch as Sear has a man in front. Savard, he scores! Well, Dennis Sear gets the puck behind the net and throws it out front to a wide open Dennis Savard. Watch the replay. Look at two men open in front of the net. Sears just threw it out front. That time Savard picked it up. But Larmer could have got to the puck also. Here's another look at the replay. Two New Jersey men on the puck. Nobody on Larmer or Savard. Savard puts it into the open net. Gardner, though, off Russell. And back out come the Hawks. Three on one. Doug Wilson moving in with Gardner. Drops to Gardner. In front to Wilson. And nearly a sensational combination, but nicely thwarted by the acrobatic Ron Lowe. Though Savard will keep it in. Sear still in front. Joining him is Larmer as Savard just does another curl in the corner and gives back for the cannon by Brown. Score! <laughs> Savard's going to get the puck back to Keith Brown at the point. And the slap shot. Now watch the shot come here, and it looks like it just handcuffed Ronnie Lowe a little. It was sort of hit right in the midsection and bounced between down between his legs. Here's another look at the play. Savard back to Brown. Let's the shot go off the pass, and it just gets between his legs. Watch it right there. Just trickles into the net. Back to the point to Brown. He has a goal tonight on the earlier power play and lets one go that's saved by Lowe. Scramble in front. Lysiak with it. Backhander into the sprawling Mike Kitchen and Lowe gets his glove down. Not really that many, though, these two young men from junior hockey in Montreal. Both born the same day as was their other line mate, Denny Tremblay. It is Wilson back to Savard. With 24 seconds to go on the man advantage, he cranks one score! <laughs> Second goal of the night for Dennis Savard. It comes at 16.54, a power play goal to give the Hawks the lead by a score of 6-1. to one. Just an out-and-out -out rifle shot, as you saw in front of the net. His old linemate, Sear, involving himself with one of the New Jersey defenders. There you get a look at it from the opposite end. This is what Bannerman was seeing all this time as the drive came sizzling in from just inside the blue line. So it is 6-1 the Hawks. 
And you can just imagine that the Hawks might gear themselves even more offensively now, seeing a potential big point night to Floyd. If they hurry, they might have a two-on-one, but it comes over to Cameron, has it back to Larry Floyd for the shot that's chipped high off the glass by Bob Murray. Sear playing it back, but Floyd right there feeds to the point to Mike Kitchen. Shovels one, score! A deflection by Dave Cameron. And the Devils have gotten their second goal. It's 6-2 Chicago. Cameron halfway in. Just did a little deflection and caused that one to go into the net. As we get a look at this one developing once more. Just a little snapshot. And Cameron tipped it beyond Murray Bannerman. Have doubled their total and so also have the Devils here in the second. One second left as Gardner scores. Does it count? No time left on the clock. The Devils are pointing in the direction of the scoreboard and will it count? You see the play here made by Sorella and the interception coming from Gardner. And Gardner just ripped one over the uh, pad of Ron Lowe. It's blocked away by Bannerman. McMillan bumped off by Brown. Centering pass, Mulvey in the slot, and a big save, Bannerman on Mulvey. It skips behind and is loose in front. And Bannerman able to get it with a big assist from Keith Brown. Oh, you just hope that uh, Granny could have knocked that one in. I think it would have been just a great goal for Grant. First of all, it puts the Devils only down three, but it's nice to come into the your old home building and score a goal. Let's get a look at the replay. Verbeek throws it out front to Mulvey all alone. Again, I talked about it earlier. Bannerman challenged him and came right out. It's nice to be up here and watch. Maybe you fake the shot and go around, but it's awful easy sitting up this high and being able to second guess. Pestered from behind by Ben Wilson, who cleared but not out. Brumwell in front to Cameron, across to Marini, a backhander is safe. Another shot saved by Bannerman, and he holds on. Murray Bannerman right there, too. Some superb saves. One right off the shot by Hector Marini. The rebound came right out to Phil Russell. Now Wilson tries to block the backhand pass. Watch it hit him in the skate. Oh, it almost went in. It just caught the leg of Murray Bannerman. For a side, as we mentioned, with a minute 35 to go and a 6-2 Chicago advantage, Dave Lewis drops it in and racing to the corner, Broughton and Ben Wilson. And Broughton roll a weak one in front. They score. Jeff Lorimer from Broughton, and it is 6-3. And that one came while the two teams were still both a man short. So a power play still to come to New Jersey. Well, Aaron Broughton got the puck out from the corner. It looked like he sort of fanned on the pass a little, but nevertheless, it got across the corner to Jeff Lomber, who puts it in the net. Now watch Broughton avoid the check right there by Wilson. Watch the pass. Sort of fanned on it, but it got across just in time for Jeff Lomber to put it into the open net. So with a minute 25 left to play in the third period, New Jersey closes within three. Lysiak then to Sutter is back on as Brumwell. Now it's for a side to Lysiak to Doug Wilson in front and the rising shot by Sutter went over the glass and the faceoff will come back to center ice. Darrell Sutter he threw his hands in the air. Couldn't believe he missed that one, but it was a tough chance. The puck was rolling and he just got under it a little. Watch the play here. Sutter at the side of the net. The pass comes right over to him. Now watch the puck bouncing a little. <laughs> That's a tough play. It looked like a basketball bouncing over to him. In their seven games as the crowd chants down the final seconds the Devils go one and five as Murray Bannerman in the twine for the victory and Ron Lowe performing well tonight despite yielding six goals winds up being tagged with the defeat and the man who had two goals in the game including the winner as mentioned Dennis Savard goes off with his victorious teammates there you see the Devils the final score tonight comes up the Blackhawks six and the New Jersey Devils three.